Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm bringing this movie to you right now. It's late. I know, I know, I know, but please forgive me, okay? Today we'll be reviewing the movie Coming from Insanity. I'll meet you on the other side after the highlights of the movie, yeah. You know how all the suicide bombers are supposed to get virgins when they get to paradise? This is paradise. I brought that boy into this house for one reason. To keep this house clean. Uh. I should have done everything for them not to bring me to this country. I should have yelled them onto a knife. I should have fought. I shouldn't have done that. You have to treat every crime like the crime of the century. You know why? You never know what you'll find. From Insanity is a 2019 Nigerian movie starring actors and actresses like Gabriel Afolaya, Damilola Adebite, Sani Danja, Bolanle Nina Nowo, Udoka Onyeka, Sharon Onja, Adolu Adifarasin, Wale Ojo, Sambasa Nzeribe, DJ Is Beats. Yes. It was directed by Akin Yemi Sebastian Akin Rokko. It's an amazing movie. Okay, it's a movie that I don't expect from Nigerians. However, it was a common story, but beautifully told, beautifully acted out. Like they really handpicked the actors and actresses for this movie. And I just kept on centering on Gabriel. Gabriel Gabi is really, really, really an amazing actor. Like he really interprets the role and gives you what you're expecting. When he was acting like the or is it Togolese or Congolese guy, his accent changed. It was amazing because I know that's how this because I've come across a lot of them and there was no mistake there at all. It was something that I just sat down. I'm like, okay, well, okay, let me sit down and look at them critically because it's not just about saying, oh, I'm coming from Togo, I'm coming from Congo or wherever and you can't speak the talk. You can't talk this bit. So this movie has to do with this guy, um, him and his mates, the way they, were, they used to bring in kids from all these warring countries. They brought him in. I don't remember, in fact, he grew up in Nigeria, he grew up in Lagos, not remembering where he was coming from anymore. Of course, he knew where he came from, but if you ask him to go back, he doesn't even know where or who his parents are or where to get them, how to locate them or anything. So he grew up there and he had a friend. His friend was Damilola Deputy and they grew up together and um, she was the daughter of his horses, you know. And we also have this other guy who was Damilola's brother who was a not so good guy he was mean actually to Gabby. And Gabriel grew up, they all grew up together like I said, living together. Gabriel always had this dream that he wanted to blow, he wanted to be a big boy. And then Sharon Onja was dating Damilola's brother and then a police officer was dating Damilola. And then later on, because of Gabriel's intelligence, he found out how to print dollars. He kept on until he mastered it and then he now took his friends. Bolanle was his Bolanle was his bodyguard. And that was how they kept on. This movie took us into the world of counterfeiting. That's what I'm going to say. It showed us the anxieties because it's not just about printing money. It's after printing the money, after printing these dollars or any money, counterfeit. It's either you take the naira to the bank and lodge it in without anyone arresting you, or you take the dollars that you've been printing to that's the first move to take it to the guys that change money for people take it to black market yeah and if they don't detect it then you know you're good you know that you've arrived so he took the money in and no detection there whatsoever that was how brilliant he was that was how well they printed the money without mistakes okay so at some point still the money got flagged by the financial crime people and they said it was a 2016 code that they were using but that well done it was very difficult to see at some point too, they now traced it to the black market people who that were conducting business with cable and everything started coming to light. Now you see the struggles of evading arrest. Meanwhile, this movie is a true life story. So as you're watching it, you just know that it actually happened to someone. Gabriel started dating uh, Sharon Onja that was dating his former boss's son. Yeah. At some point, he met up with Damilola. Through Damilola, Damilola said, but I thought you had gone home. My parents gave you money and all that. He was like, no, Lagos is my home. I need to make it. And he opened up to her. I told her everything. So she would now is drop on her boyfriend, go through his files, and give him information. Okay, and so that was how he, even though he went through so much in the hands of the black market guys, almost killed him. 
it was Tammy Lola that did all the arrangement for him, helped him evade the arrest of her fiance, who was also using her to track him. Okay, and they were able to evade arrest and they flew out of Nigeria, including Tamilola, I think. So um, it was such an interesting world because at some point I just couldn't stay still. I was like, oh my god, it was suspense filled. And the thing that just kept on nigging in my head was like, this is a true life story. This is a true life story. And I'm like, oh whoa, close shave. Yeah. So it's an interesting watch. I'd encourage you to see this movie because I saw it on Netflix. And it brings me to the end of my movie review. The cinematography was great. The sound lighting the filming was awesome you know i could understand everything i could see everything there were no dark nothing everything was on cue okay at some point though earlier at the beginning of the movie i was going to be bored but uh, it sort of picked up and everything was brilliantly done i'll be rating this movie and eat over 10 because the movie was excellent for me i had saved this movie a long time ago and you know i don't know i think it's the thumbnail the thumbnail threw me off like the thumbnail was not encouraging so i just saved it several months ago almost a year now and um, i just decided to just take a look at it and like let me just get it off my list and there and then wow the movie is a, the movie is brilliant if you've seen the movie please leave a comment down below i'll be sure to respond i always respond okay please hit on the subscribe button do turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up okay up there you see my nigerian movie reviews my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews and then again my movie reviews all right i'll see you next time till i come your way again is bye for you.